to the postseason. Let's begin with the Spurs, who we would presume are going to be without Kawhi Leonard for the playoffs. Is getting to this spot in the seventh spot the best coaching job Greg Popovich has had to do, considering the circumstances? Under the circumstances, it's certainly among them. And you think about some of the things that the Spurs have done to get to this point. Uh, DeJounte Murray coming along as a real player for them. Rudy Gay kind of rehabilitated his entire reputation there. But this is what Pop does with guys, of course. But we should also consider the, the context here. This is the first season since 1986-87 that there were only two teams in the West with 50 or more wins. So the Spurs had a little bit more wiggle room than normal because there were just a bunch of teams that were, I don't want to say mediocre, but were you know, good but not great or dominant. And that kind of opened the door for them to have maybe a better than expected season under the circumstances. All right, let's talk about this series between Utah and OKC and talk about crunch time basketball, which we went through earlier in the show. Russ, in terms of efficiency numbers, has had his struggles, but let's give him credit. He's the reigning MVP. He's been in these moments before. Do you trust him more than an unknown commodity in these situations like Donovan Mitchell? Oh, such a dicey question to put me out there. Uh, listen, Donovan Mitchell has made a lot of big shots this season. He's not just scored, uh, you know, uh, in high numbers for the Jazz. He's made clutch shots, and he's also made clutch passes, by the way. And that's what I trust more about Donovan Mitchell than Russell Westbrook. Yes, Russell Westbrook has made big shots throughout his career, and he's been in more of these situations. So you would kind of lean his way based on experience. But I think Mitchell has better I don't want to say better court vision. I think he has a broader court vision. He doesn't have as much tunnel vision as Russ has, especially in crunch time. So I'm going to lean Mitchell on this. Talk Portland and New Orleans both have MVP candidates from the regular season. But between Anthony Davis and Damian Lillard, who do you believe is more likely to play like an MVP in the playoffs? Well, they've both been on a tear the last couple of months, so there's no wrong answer here. But I do think that Dame Lillard might have a little bit more uh, pressure against him, a little bit more resistance in the form of Drew Holiday, Rajon Rondo, whereas Anthony Davis, I'm not certain I see anybody on that Blazers roster that's really standing up to Anthony Davis effectively. So, uh, you know, all that said, Dame's going to have the ball in his hands, so he'll have more opportunities. He, He doesn't have to wait for somebody else to get it to him. I'm still leaning Anthony Davis. Remember, a big criticism the last time the Pellows were in the playoffs were not enough touches by Anthony Davis late in games. So hopefully they do get him the ball. Howard Beck, senior NBA writer for Bleacher Report. We thank you for joining us here on this Western Conference Playoff Preview Show.